Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642 and today I thought I would do a little update video for you today of my 2002 Honda Civic Si. Um, I've owned the car for about two months now. It is uh, New Year's Eve when I'm filming this but I'll get around to uploading this probably sometime within the next week. This is just really the only chance I'll have to make the video since it's my day off. But anyway, thought I would do a little update video for you guys on the Civic because I've owned it for about two months. Uh, it'll be two months on January 3rd and about 3,000 miles and change in those two months. Um, absolutely love the car. It has done fantastic on my daily commute. I have taken multiple road trips to Northern Virginia and one really long road trip up to uh, again northern virginia but it was to visit a friend that lives uh, kind of up on the side of dc so that was a really really fun drive having a car with some power up on the roads in northern virginia which are very aggressive once you get towards the dc area but uh, the car did it absolutely fantastic and i think at this point my anxiety about road tripping with it because you always have that with a new car that you're just not familiar with but i think all of my anxiety with this car is pretty much gone at this point so I'll go around and just show you how everything's holding up, um, what I've done. I think the most obvious thing you'll see is I did tint the windows. Um, did this a couple days ago. And this was kind of my little gift to myself. It's something I have really wanted and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Um, got 35 tint all around front, back, and this rear window. Um, no tint on the front. Even though I do miss my little tint band that the Accord had, especially with my eyesight so bad, that was nice to have, but 35 all around really, really looks good. I'm so glad I was did 35 um, on the front because I really, really cannot stand the uneven look that cars get. And it's still pretty good because you can see from one side to another, but you can't really see, I mean, you can see inside. It's not like drug dealer tint, but you really have to be looking to see inside, which is nice. Um, another thing you'll probably notice is I found a bottle of Honda Nighthawk black touch-up paint at my house that my mom had bought back in like 2008 when her car got scratched in a parking lot and it was the only black paint she could find. Then she got home and realized that it was a metallic because Nighthawk black when it's shined up in the sun almost has kind of a blue flake to it if you really look to it or really look at it close. So brand new unused bottle of it just laying around in my house so I took it and I touched up all these annoying little white dings that were here um, touched up the door where there's still a few but I need to hit those but I touched up most of the door dings along there um, I need to get that it looks like somebody like twisted a gas cap or something or twisted a gas nozzle so I need to touch up that but coming along the back too, all those annoying ass scrapes that were on the bumper like you can still see them if you look for them but they are all gone, thank God. Those bothered me so much. And the car, the way it was parked in my last update video, the sun was right on them and they looked a lot worse. But all of that is good. Right here where the clear coat had peeled above the Honda badge, covered that up. And then up here too where the clear coat had also faded um, up along the spoiler. Still plasti dipped. I really need to touch it up um, around the edges. I'll probably, it literally has one coat because it was the first time I'd ever used plasti dip and I was kind of, hesitant i just really wanted to see what it did but uh, it's kind of peeled around here and then on the edges from car washes especially this side so i need to touch that up but i really like the way that looks and i think it gives it a nice amount of contrast too i wish honda had actually done something like that from the factory but uh coming around to this side there were a few dings over here that i touched up there's still like two or three down there and then coming along the front, uh, still same tires as always, the Goodyear Eagle RSAs. Um, wearing pretty nicely, actually. Like, they still have a really good amount of meat on them. And these have been fantastic tires, uh, especially in the rain and stuff. They're really good. Coming along the front, um, all the rock chips and stuff are still on the bumper. Like I've said before, nothing I'm really going to do about that. Because when you start actually, like, re unless paint actually starts, like, ripping off of it, or clear coat which isn't going to happen i'm leaving it because when you touch things up on cars like this it never looks good and it never looks the same again um headlights i did buff them so they are nice and shiny but we'll go ahead step inside and i'll give you a mileage check um i did just wash detail vacuum all that inside of it i had to shampoo the carpet over here 
because one of my friends got a little turnt and spilled his cheer wine, so I had to clean that. But otherwise, the interior is in absolutely perfect shape. It's exactly how it pretty much has been. And there it goes, that little K20 just ticking away. But coming along inside, as you can see, another thing I really like about the 35 tint is you can still see no problem. I mean, it's a little darker looking at a comparison, but it's not noticeable at all. I've driven cars with way darker tint that were actually hard to see out of. And even at night, this is perfectly fine. But inside, everything is pretty much the same. I got this uh, right after my last update video. I had some store credit that I needed to burn at Best Buy, so I picked this up. Um, ran the wire down here, up underneath the dash. There's a little hole way back there. Ran it through, and it's plugged into the splitter down here. But uh, I'd leave it up because it finds food and uh, cheap gas, So, and I just like the way it looks up there. And then the next biggest update is this. Yes, that horrendous factory head unit is finally gone. Um, Took it to the same shop I had to uh, do the Beetle, because I put the radio on the Saturn in the Accord. Uh, just an afternoon, a little bit of help from a friend. I mean, you can easily do it yourself, but all of this is like 10 million clips and screws and wires, and there's like different harnesses for this, different harnesses for the radio. I was just like, I went to the shop. They were like, yeah, it'll be 112 bucks. So I was like, I'll do it, because I already had the radio, and then I think this was like another 20 bucks for this. I kind of wish it was silver to match, but I really don't care because the interior is black, so it actually contrasts pretty well. But um, at night, it lights up red, matches everything just like this does. So it's perfect. I really like it. It has an excellent sound. I have my Bluetooth, which they mounted up here. Bluetooth works perfectly in here. Bluetooth streaming audio works perfectly. Like, I love this radio. And then satellite radio. And then up front, I still have the two stock tweeters, two OEM speakers. And then in the back, which the box is back there, I'll show it, I put in uh, two kickers, two kicker speakers, and that made all the difference. Like this car absolutely bumps now that it has a head unit pushing some power. Um, down here, shift knob, all that, still the same. This is kind of dirty. I guess I missed it at the car wash, but still absolutely love this gearbox. I'm so glad to be back in a car with a manual. Uh, no complaints here. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it does that typical Honda thing, too, in reverse. That typical... Um, down here, I do have the business card for where I got my tent. Um, anyone in the Richmond area, if you need tent, go to Advanced Window Tent. Uh, on Broad Street, same building as RPM. Excellent job. I will highly recommend them to anyone. It was not cheap. They are definitely more expensive than their competitors, but the work shows. They did such an excellent job doing that um down here i do have a little plug for the power adapter which i kind of just keep that covered on it so the light won't shine up at night um storage in the middle this is like full of papers and crap for work and then cover right here i do have more storage this is where i'll usually like leave my phone or something if i have drinks up here do have the armrest which was added after market uh before i bought the car but press tilt you can raise and lower it and then down there just some detailing cloths and stuff so we'll go ahead, put the window down. I can finally put my windows down and it won't hurt the tent. Go ahead and pop the hood. Show you the rest of the car. Coming along to the trunk. I did a little bit of organizing this morning. Oh, it actually didn't like get thrown around other than fucking candy wrappers. I don't even know where that came from. But back here, I did get this crate last night. I stole this from a Waffle House because I was like, oh, it'll be a good record crate. It's like that small enough that records won't fit in it. So now it's my junk crate, which is fine with me because it's deeper, so all the stuff won't fall out of it. But it's all detailing stuff, oil just in case. Um, I think this is a can of, pl yeah, that's Plasti Dip for all your ricer needs. And then right here, I do have the battery jump box, which I've never had to use, but I keep that just in case someone else needs it. Um, there's another candy wrapper. Right here I do have shoes, same ones that have been in every car. My uh, pink dildo duster thing. And a jacket, which I just keep in here. This came with my GPS for free. It's one of those little 
bed things that they clamp down onto and they sit on the dash, but the way my dash is angled, this really didn't fit and it really bothered me. So I like the GPS over on that corner more. And I just, I love the way Nighthawk Black shines on this car. I also did fail to mention in uh, some of my older videos, if you've seen Matt's video, um, this was all cracked and peeling. I did Plasti Dip this on both sides and it's held up fantastic. But I did that. I've thought about Plasti Dipping this, especially on the driver's side. Because this is really, really a fingerprint magnet. You can see this one's actually a little scuffed up. I mean, just from old car use. But I've thought about dipping it. I don't know if that would be ricey or not. But just since it's such a fingerprint magnet, I think that would look kind of good. But we'll step in on the other side. Everything is pretty much the same. As I mentioned, I just shampooed the carpet, but it came out fine. And in the back, there are cupcakes, <laughs> which I bought the other night and never ate. Um, back here, this is the box for the speakers. These were the ones I got. Kicker, six and a half inch coaxles. Um, got them from Best Buy. I think they were 65 bucks on sale and I had a $25 gift card. So that's what that went to. But those are excellent, no complaints there. Um, also no complaints about the Little Debbie cupcakes that I bought at a truck stop. And then up front, like I said, everything else is the same. Dashboard Jesus, which you may have seen on my Instagram, was right here, but he decided he's no longer sticky, so Dashboard Jesus is now Side Pocket Jesus until I can get some double-sided tape. Coming up under the hood of this car, everything's pretty much the same. It's gotten a little dirty just because it's so cold out. I really haven't had a chance to get under here and clean it, but this is the 2-liter K24 cylinder. Um, as I mentioned, the oil was changed after I bought it. Um, changed the serpentine belt, changed the knock sensor. Just all the basic little tiny things that it needed. Um, one thing too, I forgot to mention in my last video. Um, Midas called me while I was having the oil changed and they recommended that I replace the valve cover gasket because it really wasn't in bad shape. But if you look at the way the engine sits, it kind of sits back at an angle. So it was seeping really, really, really bad around the back. So it was like 80 bucks, and they replaced that, and they also replaced the spark plug well seals, which are a really, really common thing on Hondas, and I changed them on the Accord, and they were a royal pain in the ass, so glad that's done. One less thing I have to worry about, and no more oil seepage, which I really, I didn't even notice after I bought it, because I didn't even think about it. But as always, um, Civic's doing fine. Any questions, comments, anything like that, drop them down below. I absolutely love this car and it's going to be here to stay for a while. I know this is my third car I've had this year, but this is really it. I, I have never had so much fun in one of my daily drivers before and I would completely recommend this to anyone who's my age and is looking for a car like this. If you feel confident enough driving stick shift, go ahead and get one because this is so much fun over the regular Civic. And you really, really don't see these around either, which really gives it that unique factor. Anyways, guys, this has just been an update on the Civic. Thanks for watching, and as always, please subscribe for more.